Good morning, everybody. How are you guys doing today? Let me know how you guys are doing. I thought today I'd do kind of a chilled type of video. So we're actually in my living room right now. I just wanted to be kind of like, you know, more personal and stuff, especially with everything that's going on. I just thought it'd be nice to kind of get down to like more of a personal level. This routine that I want to do today is going to be kind of, I guess, boring, <laughs> but it's very like therapeutic and relaxing for me to do. So that's kind of why I'm doing it. Oh, for those of you who don't know me and just know my eye, because most of you only watch my eye makeup tutorials, I do have another eye and an entire face. So hi, I'm Sinead Katie. You can just call me Sinead. Sinead Katie is just my kind of username, nickname thing, but yeah, I'm Sinead and I love teaching. And I live here in Cork in Ireland and I would actually you know I'd love to hear from you guys and let me know even if I know you already like let me know like your nickname or like something about you or funny like fact like a funny fact about me is I really am scared of butterflies and it makes playing Animal Crossing very difficult because you're supposed to catch butterflies that's a fun fact about me let's just start off and just get into doing this little makeup routine which is just boringly mundane and chilled and I hope that you are gonna enjoy it. Just put my hair back away from my face. I've already done my skincare. We're gonna go in with concealer that I have on my little palette over here. So I'm gonna grab my sponge, which is damp, not soaking. So I start with the eyes on the outer edge and then I'm gonna apply a little bit on the inner corner up onto the lid. So I'm focusing on the areas I want the most coverage, so around my nose and mouth, where I have like redness. And then I just blend it around. Oh, I forgot to apply primer. I don't wanna start all over again. Gonna use my primer now. I should have already done it, but it blurs any unwanted shine. Just like that. It's also great if you have large pores on your cheeks, but typically you would apply this before concealer, but I just totally forgot. I'm gonna apply a little bit of highlighter, but because I'm so pale, I find it hard to find a light enough one. So I mix a very pale eyeshadow with a setting spray, a little bit of eyeshadow, and I mix it in, and this works for me. I always look to see where the light is hitting my face, so I move my face around and apply the highlighter where the light hits my face. I'm gonna move on to powdering my face using the It Cosmetics powder, the Bye Bye Pore powder. It's very, very finely milled. I actually use my fingertips and I sort of swirl and blend this into the skin. But it does take a bit of practice, so first I would try on the back of your hand, take a little bit and lightly glide and swirl this into the skin, and as you're doing that, it should disappear. So I tap away any concealer creases first with my sponge, and then I glide and swirl the powder into any areas that I need to really annoyed because I just have this like red cheek and it looks weird. My cheek is red and I'm gonna embrace it. So now I have the coverage that I want. It's still really sheer. You still see some blemishes coming through, a little bit of redness on the cheeks for some unknown reason. It's all just subtle and soft. So we're gonna move on. I'm gonna do the brows. I'm gonna be using these two brushes because I've been obsessed with them. E81, which is a very fine tipped brush, the E44. So the E81 can be great for doing like liquid liner because it's so like fine. Oopsies. But it is also great for creating like little hairs. If you have any areas that are kind of gappy, I want to create the illusion of hairs where I need fullness. So I don't want to like fill in my brows. I want it to be soft and subtle, just the same way as everything that we've already done is very soft and subtle. Cause we're gonna come back to the face in a little bit, but I want to get my brows on. And I'm gonna be using Benefit, it's the Cabrow, which is like a gel. And what I do is I take the product and then I sort of scrape it onto the sides so that the brush gets nice and flat. Or sometimes I'll even pinch it between my fingertips to get it like super flat. So I just use this on the little gaps, go in the direction of the hair that are beside it and just create little hairs. A little trick when you're doing your brows is to make sure you're using two different mirrors. So you have your hand held so you can see the detail, but make sure you keep checking in a mirror in front of you because if you're doing this, you can get like amazing brows, but they can be very full and very dark. And then you see them in a faraway mirror and you're like, oh, oops. I then take the E44. I'm gonna take the Anastasia Beverly Hills dark brown and just sort of work through the edge. So like from my arch out. Seagulls. I don't like my brows at the moment, so don't judge me too harshly. 
We're gonna move on to contouring and bronzing. So I'm gonna be using two products. So my contouring, I'm gonna be using this matte shade wild ginger number 40 and as you can see it's like a purple tone like a purple shadow it's a bit like the taupe blush by nyx which was always a great one if you were very pale but i think they discontinued it or they changed the formula and so i find if i take this which is like a purple shadow like a purple gray and i mix it with a bronzer which is a matte bronzer i can kind of create the illusion of a contour and then i can use this on the upper part as my bronzer so it kind of helps them blend a little bit I don't know. It's just something I'm trying out. I'm not a, a blush person because as you can see, you see, I just naturally blush all the time. But if I want to add a little bit of blush, then I love this palette. Ooh, what is it called? The Girls Getaway Trio. And I love that. But I'm going to be using contouring right now using these two shades. So what I start with is I use a smaller brush to mix up the two to do my contour. Then I use a bigger brush as like my bronzer. I love combining the two. And once again, it's the process. It's, it's just kind of fun to mix and match things. Like, yes, I could get the perfect contour or the perfect bronzer, but isn't it more fun to kind of mix up your own? I don't know, maybe that's just me. So I'm gonna be taking the F83. I'm just gonna take a little bit of this. Now you wanna test this in the back of your hand. You don't wanna just go directly onto your face when you're mixing, cause you wanna see the mix. I'm gonna take a little bit of my purple shadow. What I think I might do is I'm gonna add in my Blank Canvas Cosmetics bronzer. This is like a contour palette and I like using these ones but they're a little warm on my skin at the moment but I am going to add in a little bit of this to what we're doing because it's looking a little bit too inky purple and this will add a little bit of yellow similar to when we're doing our highlight and we like move our face I do the same when I do my contour so I like see where the shadow is and just emphasize it and I really wish that my cheek was not red right now because it's driving me crazy I'm gonna do little swirling motions working with the natural contour of the face and I don't want to bring up this shade around the hairline because we don't want it to look muddy. Switch to a different brush and I always use a slightly bigger one just because it softens and disperses the product a little bit more. And we're just going to take that bronzer this time. And this bronzer I love because it smells like maple syrup pancakes. And look at the packaging. I just love everything about this. But I do add a touch of the Blank Canvas Cosmetics one because it has a little bit yellow in it. And it just evens out everything. So I'm just going to go up around my hairline with this doing little buffing motions, holding it quite far up to begin with so I can get the product on there and then I softly blend it out by holding it a little further down. But don't be doing this, okay? The brush should never go like that when it's on the face. It should always be like soft. Just let the brush do the work. Don't put pressure on it. And I also bring it around here, around my temples lifting this upwards a little bit. I might do a full video on contouring, so I'm not gonna really go into detail today about it. Holding the brush a little further down, I'm just gonna bring it across my cheeks. I only want it to be very soft and subtle, so I'm not putting too much pressure on. And then bring it over my nose, just kind of dust around the face. For the eyes, I do pretty much the same thing. So I'm gonna take my blending brush, so this is the E26. I'm basically going to mimic what we already have on the cheeks and the rest of the face to contour the eyes. This is a great way to bring your entire look together. So I'm gonna mix up my two shades again, and I'm going to bring this on the outer edge of the eye as my base, and then I take a little bit of the bronzer and just go over the top and sort of blend that out, blending it upwards, up and out. And it's very soft and subtle. It's not to look like eyeshadow. That's not what we wanna do. We wanna create the illusion of natural depth. So just focusing on this outer third of the lid and the crease, sort of just work that through. I'm just waiting for the go break. I'm then gonna go back in with the E44 that I was using on my brows, and I take a black eyeshadow. And actually, another thing that I like to do too is take a black pencil and run that on the upper, where's my mirror? Waterline above, so like your tight line. And I'm just gonna take a bit of that black shadow and smudge this on the upper part. So we've done underneath, right by the lashes. Now we're gonna go above, and you kinda wanna just aim for your lashes. It makes me miss my dog so much and now i use my ring finger to kind of blend this out and i try to keep like a clean finger so i can kind of blend in case i've like overdone it so my eyes are looking a little cool because that black is like a pure black I take the brown in here add this over the black to create a little bit more warmth i just use the brush and just push it and tap it I'm gonna just leave it settle for a second while I apply the lashes, so mascara first. So I'm just going to coat the lashes and then apply some falsies. And it's weird, but 
I've been applying false lashes, I would think, almost every day. Even if I'm not wearing makeup, I'll put some lashes on. It's just one of those things. It makes me feel like myself. And I think at the moment, with everything that's going on, it's nice to have things that make you feel like yourself. So I'm gonna pop on some lashes. Might do a video on how to customize lashes because I have little techniques. It's really difficult because the algorithm only sends out my eye makeup tutorials. And so you guys don't get to see other videos. Like you probably won't get to see this one. Definitely makes things a little tricky. I have to, to do a bunch of eye makeup tutorials to even break even, you know? This is my job, so I have to do that. And especially with my illness, it's it's hard. But if I do anything different, which is what I want to do, and I want to be creative and different, the algorithm goes, no, it's not an eye makeup tutorial, so we're not going to show it to anybody. So all the things that I want to do, I just feel like I, I'm boxed in because of the algorithm on YouTube, which kind of sucks cleaning my waterline. I'm just like dabbing it with a tissue. I then take a nude. Lately I've been trying out a few different techniques. Like sometimes I apply it just in the middle. Then sometimes I apply it on just the edges. I don't know. I haven't quite decided what I want to do yet. So that is pretty much kind of like where I leave it, but I want to do a few little extra thingies, okay? So I'm going to start by taking a fixing spray, Primark one, and it was their sort of like one-off collection thing. I just love how it makes my skin look. Like it just makes my skin so glowy. So, so, so glowy. So I just, I love the way that it looks on the skin. It takes a little time to dry, but I really like it. I'm also going to fake bake. What baking essentially is, is applying a lot of powder. I find fake baking, feel like I'm the only person who's ever called it that, but I find fake baking does the same thing without drying out your skin. So if you have dry skin like me, fake bake. So what I do for fake baking is I take a tinted powder, a little bit lighter than my skin, so not a translucent powder, not a loose powder or anything like that, tinted powder. I apply it with my sponge or like an angled brush like this. This is the F85 and I just go along here, so like along my jaw, under my contour. Here, let me just show you. This is where I'm going. See that? that? That's what I'm doing essentially, but I'm just doing it with a brush. It shows up more with this one. And then I kind of blend it out and it just brightens this area and cleans up your contour. And then you can also do that along here, along the edge of the eye. So I'm only going to put, put it here because I don't want to touch my highlight. And then, then just kind of blend and blur it out. That's probably a little bit too much, but I just wanted for you to see it on camera. You can also use this technique on the edge of your nose. Don't apply this much, I'm just showing you. And you just kind of blend it down. It's just a nice subtle way of creating the effect of baking without applying a ton of product onto your skin, especially if you have dry skin. So you see how it looks lifted, it looks bright, it's, it's clean. And if somebody comes out with a fake baking powder now, and I haven't coined that yet, yeah. Fake baking all the way. On the lips, I mean, I'm not a lip person anyway. I do like the Kiehl's Lip Treatment Balm and also the Dr. Pawpaw, the new brown one. You need that in your life, so good. I think it's in my handbag, but I don't tend to wear a lot on my lips. I don't like my lips. I don't like the color of my lip. I don't like the shape of my lips. I had to get part of my lips removed and that's a whole long story. But if I do use a little bit of something like these ones, these ones are by L'Oreal and they're like tints, but they're like glosses and liquid lipstick in one. Do like a sweep of color and then just blend it in. I do want to say I also got this perfume the other day. I was in the pharmacy getting my medication and I saw it and I hadn't used it in a while but it's like my favorite perfume. I only put perfume on when I leave the house but when I'm in the house all the time. I didn't think of doing it until I saw that and I put it on and I just felt like myself. So I thought that I'd share that. I hope you guys are doing okay and let me know how you are. And if you like this type of style of video, definitely let me know. I'll, I'll try and do some more of these. You can check out some of the other videos on the screen, especially if you're used to just seeing my eye, you'll check out these ones. Um, but I'll do more of this style if, if you like it, but I just, I just wanted to come on and say hi. Okay, I will talk to you guys really soon. Bye bye. There was chocolate here all along and I didn't know. Giant buttons. Giant buttons are my favorite.